Uh, hello guys, this is the Coding Magic YouTube channel and today in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how we can easily and successfully install test ng to our Eclipse and with Java. So prerequisites is uh, you need to have first Java JDK installed on your machine and also you need to have Eclipse installed in your machine. Uh, in the description part of this video, uh, I will put a link how to install Java, JDK and also Eclipse. Please, first, if you don't have those two tools, please go ahead and watch those videos and install those tools to your Windows 10. And let's start. Uh, so TestNG, I want to give brief information. What is TestNG? Test NG, it's an automation testing framework and NG stands for next generation, which means test next generation. And actually, you know, it came after the J unit and also uh, it overcomes the disadvantages of J unit and it's designed to make end to end testing easily. Uh, so test NG, you know, it can generate the proper report and you can easily come to know how many test cases are passed, failed, and skipped. You can execute the failed test cases separately. So it's the wonderful, wonderful testing tool. Guys, I'm gonna start. First, go to your Eclipse. Right now, I have an Eclipse. And here, if you go to Windows, and if you go to Preferences, and if you look, scroll down, as you can see, there is no test ng. Right now, I don't have test ng in my Eclipse. Also, what you can do, you can search here Eclipse. Uh, I'm sorry, test ng. Yeah, as you can see, there is no test ng installed right now. Uh, close this one. Uh, the next step is open the Google. If you open Google, uh, you need to type test ng. And here we have a couple of web pages. The first web page, testng.arc. This is an official website, so uh, don't worry. This is an official website, and there is no uh, there is no risk to open this website. And here you have everything related to testng. You have documentation. Uh, you, you you have uh, downloadable uh, links here. And here what to do is uh, just do control F. We're gonna search. We're gonna search for uh, Eclipse and in locations of the project under this one, you will see Eclipse plugin, Eclipse plugin. Search for Eclipse plugin here. You need to click this one, Eclipse plugin. I'm gonna click. And here, this is in a github.com. Uh, if you scroll down, go down, go down. And here, uh, you will see install snapshot. The update site to install snapshot versions of test ng Eclipse plugin is. So we need to copy this uh, URL. So select, select all this URL and right click copy and here also you have the steps which says uh, we're gonna go to Eclipse and then click on help install new software and we're gonna pass the URL and select the plugin and next and restart the Eclipse that's the uh, steps to install the test engine I'm gonna go back to my Eclipse and go to help there is a help option click on help then click on install new software option this one go to help i'm gonna repeat help install new software click on this one and here work with there is an input you can do ctrl v or right click past Past whatever the link you have copied. I'm gonna also put the link, uh, this one, in the description part of this video. 
so you can directly copy this one from there and uh, here click not not click just enter press the enter button from your keyboard enter as you can see uh, we have here test ng plugin is appear and it's here test ng test ng mte integrational and test ng p2 feature those are uh, all of them we need to uh, download all of them click this one and click next right now installation is going on calculating requirements and the dependencies you're gonna wait a little bit and it should finish very soon guys don't worry be patient yes as you can see here test ng we have test ng m2e integration test ng p2 features click on next you can go through this agreement if you want and accept the terms of the license agreement and click on finish it says security warning it's giving us some warning warning installing on as uh, unsigned software for which authenticity or validity cannot be established continue with the installation install anyway so this is an official website of test engine so don't worry there is no risk to install this one and as you can see from here install software and it says restart eclipse id to apply the software update we need to restart the eclipse guys you can click restart now or you can close and restart uh, manually just i'm gonna click restart now to take the changes uh, get an effect so you need to restart it now otherwise the change will not take effect so I'm restarting the Eclipse and it will automatically reopen my Eclipse you need to wait a little bit here it's I did it to anything I just click the restart now button and it will automatically restart the Eclipse ID so it is starting my Eclipse and it will take a while So it should finish soon. Yes, uh, this is my Eclipse, and it's still checking out the setup. And let me click. So click on Windows, click on Preferences. If you go down, hello, yeah, this is Test Angie. We have successfully installed test ng to our Eclipse. See test ng, and it has it was integrated to our uh, Eclipse and Java. From now on, you can use the test ng annotations, test ng features in your automation framework. So, guys, congratulations! If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions just comment down below i'm gonna answer to any questions as soon as possible thank you very much have a good wonderful day